I'm David Spray, Petalum Plants, signing in for Karen again this week, who's gone horse riding. Hope she comes back in one piece. Uh, we are starting off, first of all, with our calicoes. These are very, very pretty. They're long-lasting, they're succulent. You hardly need to water them at all. Excellent. Colours, very nice. All in a 10.5 centimetre pot. Coming from there, we're going on to our uh, packs of uh, primroses. These are, again, very pretty with a handle on them. Uh, lovely colours, uh, all in a, a nice big 10 and a half uh, centimetre pot, not a small one, big pot. Lovely, unusual big colours, new colours. The same things here in the 15 in a tray. This is the 10 and a half. Some of the very pretty, un unusual colours, very pretty. New for this year, some of them. Moving on to our litre pots, these are our litre pots of primroses. Unusual colours, and this is chameleon. Um, going not fully hardy, but they'll go outside in the garden and stand a little frost, but not too much. And on the front beside the front of the beside actually, these are all our um, pots of uh, primroses. Four in a bowl, four in a bowl, very pretty. And they sell very well, and they're not expensive. And in the front we have our double primroses. Now these are cracking, we think these are lovely, unusual. They've got a silver edge, some of them, and they're fully double. Lots and lots of buds coming out from underneath and they were flower many weeks in a house. And this is the cream and white ones. These are our litre pots of uh, polyanthus. This is some of the Stellas and some of the uh, showstoppers. Again, very strop central. The advantage of this one is it has huge numbers of flowers on the bottom. So it'll keep on flowering for many, many weeks from the um, buds at the bottom of the stem or bottom of the plant. So you get one flower followed by another flower followed by another flower. So not instant like primroses. These are some of the decorative bowls, unusual type of bowls, very pretty. Again, only uh, four plants in a pot. Um, and on to there, we go on to our containers. These are ones for ideally for outside. They'll stand up outside in the garden quite nicely. Lots of unusual colours, and uh, a decent made up some nice combination of colours, including some reds at the bottom for um, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I was going to say Mother's Day. Talk about. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day this <laughs> next week. So there we are. So there's a huge variety of plants, but what is here is very, very nice indeed. We're looking today at some of the um, things we're going to have in a week or two's time. This is some of the ranunculus and the primroses, all showing lovely buds. We're looking forward to those in a few weeks' time. <laughs>